Hey y'all, we are back. It's the two grandmas. Um, we've taken a little break. We had lots of things to do with our families. And uh, I've missed Marsha. I know, I haven't seen Marla in about me. a month. Now we talk and we text, but uh, I've been in New York for a couple of weeks taking care of my precious little two and a half year old grandson. And Marla's been busy with her family. Yeah, back and, and forth. So we've just been, we've just had life happens life does things happen. <laughs> and things kind of get in the way so I know. this is fun for us and so um it's fun to be back together and just yeah. we like to cook together and um so now we're back today and we're going to make some pumpkin a pumpkin spice cake it's going to be really good and you're going to see from here on out to the end of the year we'll be making a lot of christmas things a lot of uh, fall things so y'all definitely stay tuned so you can get some ideas about cooking for christmas that that are decorative we've got delicious to go. yeah. we've got a lot of yeah. things that we can be cooking uh, but this time right now it's october the 21st fifth Twenty fifth. Oh, I've missed a few days. <laughs> and um, I mean, it's time. It's time for Halloween, <laughs> and it's the fall is in the air, and there's pumpkins everywhere you look. So yeah, we're gonna make a really pretty cake. Really pretty. And it's so it's so got so many spices in it. It's so good. It yeah. just it just smells like fall. So start us off. Mm. So the first thing we have is two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And we've we've already got we already have that in there. There's a two and a quarter. And then we need we have a tablespoon of baking powder in here. Yep. And we have half a teaspoon of baking soda in there. Because it's all purpose flour, so it needs the, the baking soda and the the baking powder. Okay. And that was all mixed together, right? It's all okay. in there right so now. So we put the baking soda and the baking powder together, mm -hmm. poured it in there, and what's next? So now we have all together we have some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some ginger, some cloves, and some allspice. There goes the train. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and we've got two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and allspice. All okay. that's in there together. It smells so good. Oh, it does smell good. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Um, so we have that, and then we have to put the salt, which is a half a teaspoon of salt. We just mix that. We do, and Half we a just, teaspoon of salt is in here. It's pink salt. It is pink salt. That's so pretty. I know. Okay, so then we just mix that, Marsha, and we're going to set that aside while we beat our wet ingredients. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, it does. Oh, yummy. Let me set that over. Uh, then we're going to need another bowl okay. to mix our um, sugar, butter, and brown sugar. There we go. Okay, nope. what's first? So we're going to beat the white sugar, which is a cup of sugar. Okay. Cup of sugar cup and of sugar. And then we need half a cup of butter that's been, it's soft. So it's been half softening. And then the brown sugar is a third cup of brown sugar. And we're going to beat those until they're light and fluffy. Okay, here we go. So we've got this uh, light and fluffy, light like it said on the menu, and we're gonna, now we're going to add the, it's two eggs. We're two gonna eggs. Add those. Both at the same time? Add eggs one at a time, but, so just beat a little, add some, and then beat it. Okay. Uh, beat well after each addition. Okay. So <laughs> what else do we put in here now? Uh, just the eggs. Okay. So we're going to beat the eggs in there. Then we just mix that in with this. Okay. And we just stir so it. So these are your combined. liquid, which are all the things that we just went through, your milk and your eggs, and with these, the sugar and the spices are in here. Well, the spices are really in there. Spices and flour. It's all about to be together. All right. Isn't that pretty, though, the color? Okay. I'm a scraper, are you? A scraper? Yeah, I'm a scraper. I like to get every <laughs> little bit. <laughs> okay. Every little bit, don't waste it. We must have got that from my mom. I know, for sure. Okay. 
And then we're just going to stir this to combine. We don't beat this? Mm -mm. Okay, we've already beat it as much as we're going to. It's beaten up. So this is, this is, you could also make this into cupcakes. You can make it into, we're going to use this really pretty uh, bunt pan of Marla's. It's got the um, fall fruit on harvest. it. It's the harvest pan. And you know where I got that? I found it at Home Goods. Yeah, yeah, they have a lot just of this stuff there, like yep. that. Just ran across it one day and I said, oh, nice, I need nice bond. Marcia, if you want to take those beaters off of that mixer because they're going to drip if, you, if I move this bowl. Okay. Okay, so we've got our harvest pan sprayed with Baker's Joy. And it works great for butt pans because you have to get, you have to oil those so well. And you need uh, the oil and flour to keep in every little crevice so that it doesn't stick. Yes, and so when you turn it out after it's baked, it'll come out without. I've got a real pretty uh, Christmas tree uh, bunt. And uh, same with that. You have to really, and it, the Christmas trees are a lot smaller than these are, you know, kind of bigger. But we'll have to use that. I want to see it. I can't wait to see it. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> I got to find it. It's here somewhere. So you've used it before and it makes real, really pretty yeah. cute yeah. trees. Uh -huh. All right. So this okay. is all mixed up. It just says just until combined. So then we put the batter into the You're pan. You're going to hold this and I'll kind of scrape. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold the bowl? Yeah. Got to get it in there good. Get it into the little... The pumpkins, pumpkins and the gourds and the... Everything that's in there. We only need to fill it three quarters full, which I think we're going to be fine. So too. Get some more. So is everybody ready for um, the holidays? The holidays. Are you ready for? Well, I guess first we've got uh, Halloween, but I'm sure you've got all that prepared. Yeah, and then you know it's amazing to me how fast it happens. Once Halloween is over, then it's almost like. Mm -hmm. Christmas and Thanksgiving are all happening at the same time because you're shopping and you're preparing for Christmas, but you also have to do. Well, they've got Christmas and Thanksgiving where they almost just run together. Yeah. Where we didn't put our tree up until maybe the 23rd, 22nd when I was growing up. Yeah. Uh, probably the 22nd of or, December. Yeah. Like before Christmas. Uh -huh. Or uh, I guess it was probably. The weekend before Christmas because we always went out and cut it in somebody's field and um, we did too. They were live trees, so you couldn't put them up that yeah. far in advance. Okay, isn't All that right. pretty? Pretty, pretty. So okay. now we put it in in the 375 uh, degree preheated oven, and we let it cook. Um, I, it's probably going to take about, you have to start watching it about 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I did one the other day and it was a little over an hour. So you just have to kind of watch it and test it with a, yeah. your little cake tester. Yeah. Okay. So, Let's go ahead and run this in the oven. Okay. And we'll watch it. And then a little bit, the house is going to be smelling oh, good. amazing. I love, I love it. So uh, we'll be back in a few minutes, and we're going to show you this cake once it finishes cooking. And y'all have a great day. See you in a minute. See you in a minute.